Another story uh, t took place here in Texas. And uh, I met a very, uh, a dear, uh, a, a young woman wanted, a, a woman with four children wanted to hear about the Baha'i faith. And she, she was really quite wealthy. I, and in those days, it certainly seemed wealthy to me. Two cars. I can remember that gorgeous yellow, huge car. And, and you know, help in the house and uh, wonderful appliances, which, which appeared to me at that time to represent a great deal of wealth. Anyway, I, my husband and I had our two children. My grandmother was living with us. And we were having all the problems that young people have, money, children's illness. My husband once said, I know the next car I'm going to buy is going to be an ambulance. Anyway, this dear woman would have Baha'i classes. And uh, as I say, she was very well taken care of with maids and etc. Now, one time, one evening, in the middle of all our difficulties, when I was dealing with the problems of our household with about three tablets of Ahmed's a day, my dear friend calls up and said, Nancy, Nancy, my parrot is sick. Please pray. Now, mind you, this woman has not become a Baha'i yet, and I know I must obey. But I guarantee you the, the attitude that I had in praying for that parrot was not spiritual. But I obeyed. And of course, Baha'u'llah had this woman eventually become one of the really fine Baha'is that I have known in all my life. She went foreign pioneering. Her children have become Baha'is. Just a, a real gem. But it just shows, shows uh, you that the, the worst attitude of prayer, the most feeble, the most negative efforts are accepted to the beloved.